Mabrouk is still trying to come to terms with the loss of his daughter. Six months after Daesh attacked his hometown, Bengirdan. The day Sarah died, I wasn't at home. She peeked under the door and saw Boots approaching the house. She told, it's the army. I should let them into the house. They are here to protect us. But when she opened the door, the terrorists kicked her and the rest of the family out of the house. As she was running, my daughter got shot in the crossfire. The town of 80,000 inhabitants is more than 500 kilometers away from the capital, Tunis. It's seen Daesh's worst attack on Tunisian soil so far. 65 people, including seven civilians, were killed when the terrorist group tried to take control of it last March. Daesh failed to make Bengardan one of its new strongholds. But the town still remains part of its network in another way. This man agreed to talk to us provided we wouldn't reveal his identity. His brother left for Libya and Daesh two years ago. He says the way suspects are treated by the police only fuels terrorism. The vast majority of why there is terrorism is because of the operation by the security forces and the law. If someone else received the treatment that I got from the state, they join Daesh. A feeling of injustice that leads young Tunisians to seek revenge. Tunisia has had decades of secular rule, but it's a Muslim-majority country. In towns like Bengardan, local imams have influence, and they're using it to convey the message to locals. The imams strongly condemn those choosing violence. Because of the absence of moderate religious institutions, the youth do not get a good religious education and they get their knowledge from the TV and internet. This is how they fall into extremist propaganda. Between six and 8,000 Daesh recruits from Tunisia are thought to be in Syria, Iraq and Libya. 10% of them are from Bengardan. Every Friday, Mabrouk visits his daughter's tomb. Despite the pain, he believes that she didn't die in vain. I'm proud that my daughter died for this country. This is something that brings me up. It's a crown I wear on my head. I'm proud she's a martyr. And like the majority of the people of Bengardan, he hopes the remote city won't become a Daesh enclave. Abu Bakr al-Shamahi, Bengardan, Tunisia.